What's up everybody? Well today it's blowing like 20 mile an hour out of the northeast. Ain't no fishing going on today, so I'm in the shop. I think I'm gonna finally start working on this John boat I've been talking about. We're gonna cut it out, fit it, try to weld it in today, see how far I get. Stay tuned. So as you all know, I've been talking about doing this Jombo for a little while now. I got the metal, I got everything, but you can see as any flat surface in your shop, it starts to collect tools. It's the first drop off point outside the door, inside the door here. And that's what happens. So the first thing I got to do is clean all this crap up out of here so I can start working on it. We got to get this floor in here. Gigging season's coming up here pretty soon, spring flounder season. I gotta get this thing done. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll show you what I'm working with. All right, so I got it all emptied out and underneath all the metal and everything you can see, it's got leaves, it's got trash. So the first thing I need to do before we do any welding is definitely clean it all out. Welding and leaves, you know, heat, start fires, not good. So let me go ahead and clean this out and I'll get back with y'all. We'll go over what we're gonna use the tools required and uh, the process I'm going to do. So the kids just got done cleaning the boat. Chloe did a really good job vacuuming the whole boat out so there's nothing in it. So now I've noticed, and I've seen it when I bought it, but it has these cracked ribs, just a couple cracked ribs. That's one of the reasons why we're putting this floor in is to strengthen the floor. But beforehand, I'm going to weld them cracks up, get them back in order. Then I'll put the floor on it. It'll make it like a double, double strength. That way there's not any flex. All right, so the tools we're going to need today we're gonna need a skill saw with a not so good blade. If you got a good blade on it, it's not gonna be good for long. Two, you're gonna need a jigsaw with some metal blades. Um, you're gonna need a, a drill, drill bits, and tape measure, all that good stuff. Last thing you're gonna need is a welder. It's gotta be a big welder, 220 amp, 220, 220 volt welder. Um, I have a MIG welder, it's a Hobart 220, I think it is, with a spool gun. It's got an aluminum spool gun. It runs high heat and is able to MIG aluminum pretty decent. I also use, with that uh, welder, I also have straight argon instead of the CO2 argon mix. It's just straight argon, which helps me flow the aluminum a little bit better. So I have eighth inch aluminum. I have a five foot by 10 foot piece of eighth inch aluminum. Um, I've marked it out already on the ribs. And we're going to start cutting it here in a second. I've also took a piece of cardboard, made a jig of the actual rib that I'm working with. That way I can trace them out, cut it all out. Now this is very critical. You ever hear that saying, a good carpenter, measure twice, cut once. This is, this is really, you can't make metal again. So once you measure, I want to double and triple check the measurements. Uh, before we do any cutting. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna measure all out, trace it all out, and we'll get going. Here we go. So I'm getting ready to cut this, this piece of aluminum. It is bright. The main thing on when cutting aluminum, I'm using a skill saw. You need eye protection. Don't ask me how I know so well, because I've had a couple trips to the ER. <laughs> so definitely have good eye protection on. I got a pair of sunglasses that should do the trick. And I'm gonna start cutting it to length real quick.
Yeah, I'm officially deaf now. So I got it all cut, both sides and the length. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, hats for the template on the sides here. So I've just finished cutting all the sides and the length off. I also did my template and cut some pieces out with the, as much as I could with the skill saw. Now I'm gonna come back with a jigsaw, finish it all up. I'm gonna just set it in here. This all the way up. Slide it over. Alrighty, we got a test fitted in here. Got a couple little adjustments to make, but uh, we pretty much got it all in there. Now I'm gonna get pulled out, fix them ribs, and drill. So now I got a drill bit. It's a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna start it as my pilot hole, and then I'm gonna get a bigger one. But I'm gonna drill every six inches. And this is on top of the ribs. I just got some metal. That's one of my sawhorse. So my wood. Is metal. Then I'll come back with a bigger drill bit. And this is along the rib. I'm doing it every six on every rib, every six inches. And this is where I'm going to fasten it with the welder. All right, the metal's all prepped. So that's done. Now, before I put the metal in, I gotta fix these cracks that we had in the bottom of the boat. So I'm just cleaning them up with a grinder right now, making sure everything's clean. When you're welding aluminum, you have to have clean metal. It's gonna spit and sputter if you don't. So it's very important that you have clean aluminum. So I'm just grinding and trying to make it clean so I have a good uh, connection there. Everything's welded up. All the little cracks, stuff I can see, are all welded up nicely. Some of the beads are kind of ugly, but um, it's tough running with a MIG, but I got them pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put the metal in. We're gonna fit it in, start tacking it down. All right, so I got the floor in, everything's down. We're gonna start tacking these holes, get everything lined up. I'm gonna start at the center and work my way out. I'm gonna video it as we go, here we go.
I got the old floor in, tacked in. I still got to seam the back at the bench seat and uh, completely weld the front. But uh, it's all in right now. Looks pretty good. Got a nice tight fit over there. All around. Nice and tight. Uh, there's a little gap back here, but no big deal. Everything looks pretty tight. Tacked in every six inches. And that's it. Well, I'm done for today on this project. I got the floor down, and we finally started the John Boat project, so that's a good thing. I need to get this thing out, get it uh, ready to go for flounder season. So I got the floor in. Next up's the front deck. I'm gonna raise the front deck. I'm also gonna extend the front deck back about two feet, make a six foot front deck. All right, well, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for the next part of the John Boat series. And uh, appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. All right, jacked up out.